Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about the problem, namely dump truck problem. Let us understand what is this problem is about and we are going to simulate this using our simulation tools taking and considering it as a discrete event system. So the case study is as such, there are six dump trucks which are used to haul coal from the entrance of a small mine to a railroad where we are having two loaders and one scaling machine at the mine where each truck is loaded by one of two loaders. After loading, a truck immediately moves to the scale where it has to get weighed as soon as possible. Both the loaders and the scale have the first come first served waiting line for truck, which is going to be considering as a queue. The travel time from a loader to the scale is considered to be negligible. If the scaling machine is free, then the truck can directly go for its weighing. After being weighed, a truck begins a travel time during which the truck get unloads itself and then afterward returns to the loader queue. If the loader is free, then again, the truck is going to be getting loaded. The distribution of loading time, weighing time and traveling time are given, which we are going to see in due course with the random digit assignment, which is also a, a considered a part in your single channel queuing system. If a random digit is assigned, then based on the random digit, we can find out what is the arrival time or what is the loading time, weighing time and travel time. The purpose of the simulation is to estimate the loader and the scale utilization. We are going to understand how much time the loader was busy and how much time the scaling weighing machine was busy, based on which we are going to consider their utilization which is going to be basically percentage of time busy so the schematic diagram also is explaining about the same thing which we have discussed till now so to understand this system let us understand first the system states the different states are going to be based on the customers waiting in the line here we are having dump trucks waiting in the line and dump trucks are getting the service either by the loader or by the weighing machine. So we are having four states in this system. One is explaining about the number of trucks waiting in the queue for getting loaded, which is going to be represented by LQT. And L of T will be representing number of trucks getting loaded at time t, here t is the clock time t, which can be either zero or one or two, as zero represents both the loaders are free, one represents either of the loaders is busy, two represents both the loaders are busy. So here we are having three values for L of t, and WQ of t represents total number of trucks waiting in the queue for getting weighed. W of T is number of trucks being weighed at a simulation time T, which can be zero or one. Zero represents the weighing machine is idle and one represents weighing machine is busy. We are having three types of notices here. One is going to represent the truck is traveling which is represented by ALQ as we have told ALQ will be representing the traveling of the truck as we have told the truck is weighed and after getting weighed it's going to travel during the traveling time it's unload itself and then 
go back to the loader. Therefore, ALQ will be represented as arrival of the drum truck in the loading queue at time t. EL, comma t, comma DTI is representing the end of loading by the dump truck DTI at simulation time t. EW, comma t, comma DTI is representing another event related with respect to weighing, end of weighing, which is with uh, the dump truck DTI at time t. Here entities are six dump trucks, DT1 to DT6, and nextly, lists, where we are going to have two types of lists. One list will be representing the first come first serve basis of uh, the trucks waiting in the loading queue. And another list will be representing the first come first serve basis um, waiting queue of the waiting. The trucks which are waiting in the weighing queue and the trucks which are waiting in the loading queue will be maintained as a list. There are three types of activities going on in this example. One is the loading time, another is weighing time and another is the traveling time. So three types of activities are going on in this system. The delay will be happening either at the loader queue or at the scaling machine. So as per to the distribution of random digits, we are having three types of uh, times that is loading time, weighing time and traveling time. It has been assumed that five of the trucks are at the loader and one of the truck is at the scaling machine at a time zero. So one of the truck is at scaling machine, which is assume it as DT1. From DT2 to DT6, all the trucks are at loader, where two of the trucks are getting loaded, remember as DT2 and DT3, and DT4, DT5, DT6 are waiting in the loader queue for their turn. The activity times are given as follows and will be used as needed in the sequence. If you like this video, then like, subscribe and share the videos with all your friends and hit the bell icon to get the next notification. Thank you.